Hey there guys, it's Rick Uchert here with Ergon Webb where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today's video is on the Gamble Swarm Magnum 10X Gen 2 in 177. Stay with us. So before we jump right into it, I want to say thank you to Pyramid Air, Gamble, and all these other sponsors that help make Airgun Web happen. Thank you guys. If it wasn't for you, we really wouldn't be able to keep doing what we're doing. So if you guys are interested in what you see here on this video, definitely check out the video description. I have all the information there for you. So let's get into it. First things I want to tell you is today's a little breezy and it's a little chilly. Fortunately, we've already done all the testing on this gun. We've done the crony numbers. We've done uh, DB tests. We've done the trigger pull test. Yes, we're going to actually get to all that stuff, which is very cool. And we've done the accuracy test. It was a beautiful day. It was almost 80 degrees. And uh, we're back here to shoot sort of this opening because the footage on the camera kind of got screwed up. And I got to come back out and redo it. But fortunately, all the other stuff we did we got that. So that's very, very cool. So let me tell you about the Gamble Swarm Magnum here. The Magnum started out years ago to sort of like come back. Gamble wanted back into the game in the Ultra Magnum air gun market because uh, they had the Hunter Extreme and I actually got one in 177, 22 and 25 awesome guns. And they kind of said bye to that and then waited a little bit and then came out with their Gamble Magnum and it was a beast of an air gun. And then they've kind of had some evolution to that gun. Uh, now we're at the Gen 2, so you know where before you lost the sights on the original like Gamble Swarm Magnum? With the Gen 2, we've got our open sights back, which is very, very cool. Um, it also ships with Gamble's uh, 3 to 9 by 40 optic. Talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, the gun has always been relatively lightweight for the power it puts out, which is cool. It's actually great to kind of carry around. It's not a huge deal to take that out hunting all day. Um, see, what do we need to really talk about as far as features go? Well, let's let's talk about. It's got the moderator that does help. Now, this model is 177, so. Uh, unless you're shooting heavy pellets, you're going to be breaking the sound barrier with this gun. Once those pellets crack, moderator does you no good. So it really does help when you're shooting like, uh, in our, really our favorite pellets, turned out to be the H&N uh, Barracuda Match at 10.65 grain. Those guys, even though they're heavy, was still cooking pretty good out of this, but not breaking the sound barrier, so the moderator does help. It's got the recoil reducing rail, so if you've got a Magnum Springer and you guys have been trying to put scopes on them, my guess uh, is that you've had some troubles with that. Uh, well, this helps deal with that. This rail system has a little shock absorber back here, helps mitigate the, the amount of force that comes from all of this going on from getting back up into the scope. I don't know how they do it. I don't know the physics behind it. All I do know is that it does work. So uh, kudos to Gamma for putting that together. Now, the optic, I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Most of the time when we have a bundled optic, we take it and just pitch it because they're really kind of terrible. Gamma's uh, bundled optic is actually pretty good. Now, it's not milled up and it doesn't have an adjustable objective, but uh, it's actually clear and they've set the parallax good for air gunners, so it's not a parallax to 50 or 100 yards. I don't know what it is, could be, let's just say 30, 35 yards, I'm not quite sure, but I know that I can get the full range of the magnification even shooting at 30 yards. That's awesome. So that means they've got the parallax set for air gunners, which is very cool. So I've done all my testing with the bundled optic, and I have a lot of gamma guns which I've just left this optic on it, so I'll tell you, from personal experience, shooting these a lot, this scope is not bad. Now, if you want to upgrade it, one thing I'll tell you, make sure you get a, a scope that has an etched, etched reticle. So you want an etched glass reticle. If you get a wire reticle, you may have problems. So whatever you do, get an etched glass reticle and you should probably be okay. Make sure the scope is rated for air guns, designed for that, or you're just gonna trash it. All right, the other thing they've got is their 
adjustable trigger, and I'll put that in air quotes. Uh, it's adjustable, but it's, it's very good where it is, and you can adjust it to be less than what it is. So, and I mean not less and less trigger pull, but just less good. Um, now, in our trigger pull tests, I'll tell you, this thing regularly was, I mean, averaged well under two pounds. So, really, do you need to do much more adjusting? Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you the only adjustment I wish I had on that, which I wish I could take a little more of the second stage pull, some of the second stage creep out. But look, it's under two pounds. It's very smooth and it breaks the same way every single time. So do we need to really mess with it too much? Probably not. So we've done our DB tests, which I got all the numbers there for you. Uh, our trigger pull, under two pounds, awesome. So now what we really need to do is get down and do some crony numbers and some accuracy tests. And that footage turned out great. We're gonna jump to that now. Guys, stay with us. I hope you guys like what we're doing. If you do like what we're doing, I need you guys to subscribe. I need you guys to click the like button and also hit the notification button so you get notified when we come out with new videos because we do release a lot of stuff on our channel and I don't want you to miss any of it. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up right now and let you guys get to the meat of the testing we did the other day with the Gamma Swarm Magnum 10X Gen 2 and 177. Okay, so I am using the Pro Chrono Digital. This is the Bluetooth model. I love this, gosh, I love this uh, crony. It's just super easy to control. It always syncs up. You don't have to pair it and all that. It just works, man, it's nice. All right, delete string. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to record my screen here so you guys can see what we're doing. And let's see, Gamo, let's do a new one, duplicate, duplicate. Gamo, all right, save. All right, so I've got a new string here and what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna try it, like I said, I'm not gonna shoot 10 of each. One, I'll be too tired <laughs> by the time I'm done this video. And the other part is you guys will get the idea of fast is fast and slow is slow. Or you know, faster is faster and fast is fast. I don't know how you want to say it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put, let's say we'll do three shots each. Um, so I'll go ahead and load up my pellets here. And obviously if we get a, um, a misfire or something, I'll just reshoot it. But I think we'll be okay. All right, so <clears throat> I've got three these are the gamma platinum pba pellets and they are very light 5.1 grain or so and i'll make sure to put all the numbers down here at the bottom okay don't want to shoot my crony do want to shoot over it if i can just shoot that pig okay 1338 that's fast <laughs> okay let's do it again I'm going to flip this around here. One thousand three hundred twenty-one. Okay. One thousand three hundred sixteen. Okay, so as super light as those are, not real consistent, but it's moving. Thirteen something. Okay. Uh, now we go to the lethal pellets. These are really kind of interesting because they are, I thought they were going to be actually lighter than the platinum PBA, but they're not. These are actually plastic with sort of some sort of metal, either brass or copper insert. And they're actually pretty long. I haven't shot these for accuracy in some time. I didn't find them terribly accurate when I used them in the past, but Today, we just want to see how fast we can get this gun to shoot. Okay, we'll do the accuracy here in a minute. All right, so now this, these next three shots uh, will be the Gamma Lethal Pellets. 1,337. All right, still pretty fast. One thousand three hundred fifty-seven. Okay. One thousand three hundred sixty-four. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure 
that the lightness of those Platinum PBAs should have done a little bit better. I shot them the other day and they actually went a little faster. So not quite sure as to why they were actually slower than the um, lethal pellets. It's very easy for them to get deformed and if that skirt doesn't seal up real well, may not get all the velocity out of it because that was shooting close to 1400 the other day. But we didn't get it today, so interesting. So now we're moving to the first lead pellet. It's the RWS Hobby, so drop these in here. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. 1,173. Okay. <sighs> 1,169. Okay. 1,156. Okay. Whew. Uh, okay, so again... It seemed to drop a little bit as we shot them. Still moving very fast, still breaking the sound barrier. Now we're getting to pellets in 177 that are more normal weight. Uh, these are Gamma Red Fires, and they are 7.8 grain. Just do three shots of these. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. 1,098. Okay. 1,087. 1,105. Okay, so we have some variances there too. Uh, we were about and about oh, 20 ish feet per second, give or take a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the large or the heaviest pellet that I have here on the table anyway. This is 10.6 something, 10.65, I think. Barracuda match, 10.65. You can go heavier. JSB's got some monsters that are 17 grain. Those might be a little much, but uh, we'll stick with these. These are 10.6 for right now. Oh, goodness. Ugh. 939. Yeah, that's where you want to be. Okay. 947. <clears throat> 948. Okay, so a couple things happened there. As we got heavier, the consistency got better. And that's what you're going to find. Uh, most of the time, that's what you're going to find. So the lighter pellets are not going to be as consistent with their velocity as the heavier ones. Now, obviously, you can go too far on that, on that scale. But, I mean, that last set of shots, max spread was 9. Now, granted, we could shoot a whole bunch more, and it really doesn't change because, and it really shouldn't, because the, you know, people talk about regulators in the PCP, in the PCP world. Well, effectively, you have the same exact amount of air getting sucked into this every time we cock the gun. We have the same gas ram. As long as the piston is in good shape, this should produce similar power from shot to shot, making this very consistent. Now, let's get to the fun of putting some targets up and doing some accuracy testing. There's two pellets I'm testing today. I'm testing the Gamma Red Fires, and I'm going to test the H&N uh, Barracuda Match. We're shooting at 20 yards. Uh, you can probably stretch it out if you want, but I bet you most people with this gun in their backyard are going to be shooting at 20 or 25 yards. And really, guys, brake barrels, that's their sweet spot. Trying to stretch them to 50 and all that stuff, you can try it and you can do it, but it's very, very difficult to have consistent accuracy at that kind of range with a gun that has this much recoil. So we're gonna keep it to 20 yards and see what we get. And uh, let's have some fun. I'm gonna go set up, be right back. Let's walk through how we're gonna do this today. 
I am going to load the mag with 10 of the red fires first, and then I'm going to uh, load the Barracuda match, and we'll go from there. And I'm gonna load a full mag of each, and I'm gonna take a couple shots at the center target. And if I'm pretty much hitting close to center and it's going in the right, you know, uh, grouping well, I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, if I need to adjust the scope, I'll use the center target to adjust the scope, and then I'll use the smaller targets around the outside to go ahead and, uh, you know, do some more fine tuning or some, you know, more accuracy testing. Now, I have already shot this quite a bit with both of these pellets, and so far, <laughs> they've been doing really well. So let's see if they're going to, uh, you know, embarrass me today or if I'm going to embarrass myself <laughs> or if they're gonna do okay. Let's see here. All right. uh, one cool thing on this, on this magazine, and I'll try and get some tight B-roll shots, you can see this, there's actually a number there, so you actually know where you are, how many pellets you have left, it's kinda cool. So you're always in the know. So right now it says I have 10 shots, so when I cock this, then after I shoot it, it'll ratchet down and it'll show nine, and I know how many shots I have left. Ugh. Okay phone there. All right, let me go here. Now, you do need to use proper hold uh, on a gun like this. It's just the recoil is what it is. You're going to really need to know how to handle it. Um, keep a consistent position on your offhand, and this has a very sharp recoil, so you want to make sure your cheek is good and snug up against the, the riser here. If not, it'll bang into your face. It's uncomfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and take our shot. These are the Gamma Red Fires. 20 yards. All right, way high. All right. Same hole, essentially. Let's just keep going and see what we got here. There's three shots, looking pretty snazzy, actually, guys. That's uh, pretty impressive. That's better than I've gotten so far with this. This gun continues to impress me. Oh, I'm a little bit low and left. I got a little lazy with my hold there. All right, this is my fifth shot, I guess. Yeah, it is. All right, so got a little way, got away from me a little bit there. Now, here's a question I got. Um, we've got these other pellets, and I'm wondering, would you guys like to see uh, what, like, say, the Platinum PBA does compared to these? If you do, hit the like button, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell, because... Uh, it's guys like you and gals like you that watch these videos that let, you know, that let me keep doing what I'm doing. So uh, I've got, let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's try the platinum. You guys want me to shoot these, see what we do for accuracy? I need you to hit that like button. Now, I don't know quite where to aim. I think what I will do is I will aim, since it's probably going to go high, I'm thinking. Do we want to? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. On that target down there, I am going to aim at the bottom center bowl and see where I land. And I'm probably going to land high, but let's see if these pellets have any hope of grouping. I'll go ahead and finish these off here. Okay, there it is. Platinum PBA. Oh boy, here we're going to go. Going to get loud again. Ah! Okay, I'm going to aim at the bottom bull and see if we hit high, which I'm imagining we will. Let's just see if they get any grouping at all. Ready? Okay, a little high left. All right.
All right. You can really hear these things zing, man. They are flying. All right, well, that is not bad. Holy mackerel. Let's put a couple more in there. Let's see if it keeps doing what it's doing here. There. All right. Oh. All right, well, that is uh, impressive. I mean, straight up. Didn't expect it. Pretty doggone good. I don't know how many shots that was, but it was six shots or so. That is pretty doggone impressive. We'll go ahead and move over to the Barracuda match. Okay, so we're going from like one extreme to the absolute other. And I'm gonna just aim for the center bull again because I don't think this is gonna hit quite as high. All right, here we go. Getting to be a workout here, fellas. All right. Good grip. I'm going to aim dead center for the red. <laughs> Didn't get the crack. You hear that? No crack. So way quieter. And look at that. Right on target. Let's see if we can do a few more right there. Looks like I have a little bit left, which would be fairly easy to adjust with the scope. All right, so um, pretty awesome group. I mean, we're talking like that. Now, I did an article for Ergon Depot, and my groups were just slightly better in that article. But, man, that is, I mean, it's impressive. We're sitting here with a gun that is pushing the envelope of power for what a brake barrel can do in reality. And, I mean, Red Fires, eh, they wandered a bit. The Platinum, wow. <laughs> And the, gosh, the Barracuda match did awesome. Now, here's, a, here's another thing. Do you guys want to see what these crazy um, lethal pellets will do? If you do, go ahead and hit the like button. Okay, so these pellets are five and some change. 5.44, I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong. It'll be down here at the bottom. Um, and we are going to shoot these and see... If we can get them, there it is. Get them anywhere near accurate. I don't know quite where to aim though. I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, uh, let's see, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. This will be a stretch, but we'll see if it works. Um, the upper right target, I'm gonna aim at the bull just below it because I know these are, gonna aim, these are gonna hit high. And depending on where they hit, if I can get them in one of those shooting seas, uh, then I'll go ahead and group, uh, you know, five shots in that in that area. All right, so these guys are crazy plastic and I think copper. I don't know what they are, but we're about to find out how they do. All right, so on the right side, hopefully, let's see, that's going to be right about there. All right. All right, so I'm going to aim at the top edge of that far right bull that's just below the shooting seat. Let's see how we do here. Ah, pretty good guess, Rick. Still a little bit left, but again, that's something I think we could easily sort out. Oh, we're in the target. That's better than I expected, frankly. Yes. 
I don't know what to tell you. Um, I completely did not expect that. Okay guys, so that was kind of a lot of fun. It's been a while since I just kind of sat down and went through all of those different things to test a rifle. And we tested a beauty of a gun today. Um, I mean, we're talking about a gun here that is pushing a lot of energy in a brake barrel. We're over 22 foot pounds with like the Barracuda match, depending on what day I'm shooting it. And it just screams. We're getting, you know, 950, 960, up to almost 1400 the other day with the Platinum PBA today, we're a little bit less. But it just seems to shoot well. And granted, on the target, we'd need to move our, you know, our scope. If I'm gonna shoot, say, the red fires all the time, I'd need to adjust my scope. If I was gonna shoot uh, the, uh, the Platinum PPAs, which I probably wouldn't, but if I were, I would need to adjust my scope. But if I did, I'd be dead nuts on it. Same thing with even the lethal pellets. All of these pellets, at least at 20 yards, which is a really good range for this gun, just performed. And you would put a tremendous amount of energy on target. If you were hunting with this, man, I would use, uh, I would use those red fires all day long. Uh, if you were target shooting, you know, silhouettes and stuff at longer range, I would definitely use the Barracuda Match. Now I can sit here and I have steel targets all the way out to 100 yards and I can pretty much hit them at will with this gun with the Barracuda Match. So this thing can really get it there if you need it to. And we have that cool swarm system. You don't have to manually load a pellet every time. And this is the new system. You got the open sights. You've got the inertia driven mag so it's, you know, it doesn't double feed unless you try. Uh, I mean, it just does so much uh, in a really nice package. And I'm shooting just the regular old bundle optic, which as I said earlier in the video, I think Gamo probably does one of the better jobs with the bundled optic than anybody else. It's a really solid scope. Would I like mil dots? Would I like, you know, an adjustable objective? Yeah, of course. Um, but what I have here just works. And I've shot 50 and 100 yards with this and it, just works and so for all of that man it's just a great gun as far as any complaints i would have it is hard to cock i mean it is you're gonna you're gonna get a workout and it does take skill to get the holes right so if you're changing your position all the time here uh or you're resting it on hard or trying to vice it in a vice you're gonna you may see some real accuracy issues uh, a little troubleshooting tip before we wrap up completely here if you're shooting your Gamo or any other brake barrel, magnet brake barrel or otherwise, and it's been doing good and then all of a sudden starts to spread, the first thing you need to check is check your stock screws. So these mounting points here on the gun and up under here, wherever they are on your gun, make sure those are tight. Uh, make sure your mount is tight. Make sure your scope rings are tight. Make sure all of that is tight before you start trying 50 different pellets. If you had one pellet that was working and now it isn't, check all your screws because these recoil more violently than you might think, and it will loosen all that stuff up, or it can over time. But you can deal with that, just keep a screwdriver with you, especially if you're shooting hundreds of shots, which this would be a major workout, but just keep that with you, and you'll be able to just make sure you're always back on target. Guys, that's it. I wanna say thank you to Pyramid Air, Gamo, all the guys that helped put this together for me. So if you like what we're doing, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the notify button, and be sure to like the video. Guys, that's it for now. My name is Rick Utzer with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.